Hello and a warm welcome. Great to have you with us. Our action today comes from the Estadio de Balaidos. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Celta Vigo facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And attempting the through ball. And reading it absolutely superbly. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Hector Bellerin starts with Jordi Alba in the fullback positions. Frenkie de Jong plays with Franck Yannick Kessier in the centre of midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today. Oh, Derek, big chance here. And it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Abby Galan. And it's a quality pass. A oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Yes, they just have to make sure they stay defensively compact here. Can he finish this? Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Right, it's over to Alex Scott, because Alex, I'm hearing, a goal in the Cadiz game. It's a goal for Real Madrid. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 13 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. And they need to get tighter. Options in the middle. Suarez, magnificent defending. Barcelona, a free kick, it'll be here. Jordi Alba. Poor pass. De Jong Tempele it should be a goal it is and a typical Robert Lewandowski finish well just look at how poor the defending is here but I have to say it's still a very tidy finish he looked really assured there with the game here, Barcelona on top, and it's turning into something of a trouncing. Unai Nunez, Denis Suarez, Iago Aspas, now this is Suarez, well decent save there, Can someone get on the end of this? Well, lacking just a little bit of accuracy. Frankie de Jong. Pedri. Depay. Hugo Mayer. Oh, he's given the ball away. Jordi Alba. Tremendous ball played through. A goal! 
And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace and transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and Lewandowski's finish was excellent. He times his run, he finds that bit of space, and he was never going to miss that. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Javi Galan. Iago Aspas. Great pressure to win the ball back. And that pass could be troublesome. Servi couldn't quite hang on and there it is an almost intuitive piece of finishing well, let's take another look at this from the attacking point of view everything is right the shot across the goalkeeper making it difficult for him players coming in for the rebound it's an excellent goal and the keeper could do nothing about it well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things 4-1 Kessier, Pedri, and Depay on the ball, not the pass he had in mind. Augusto Solari. And Barcelona winning the ball back. Lewandowski, and he's through here. And a goal! He's put it away, a celebratory moment. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And Dembele's finish gives the keeper no chance. He hits it with such venom. A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. And so the first half is now in the history books here. So the second half is underway, and I must say it really was a spellbinding performance from Barcelona in the first 45. Jordi Alba. And back with Dembele, making sure it didn't get past him. Player in the way again. Denis Suarez. Tapia on the ball. Javi Galan. A bit wasteful from Celta. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. It's still alive. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And a big match in La Liga to savour shortly on EA TV. It's Celta Vigo. Oh, big moment here, Derek. A oh, tremendous block. Short corner it is. And taken away, he won the ball. It's a perfect challenge. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Jordi Alba. Oh, a nice-looking pass. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Another short corner routine. Tempele cross-fired over. And still dangerous. Jordi Alba. Now Bayerin. Is this the moment? A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish.
Iago Aspas. Chance to run at them. Holding on to the ball, waiting for the cavalry to arrive. And the referee has given them a corner. And there's the delivery. Well, no surprise there. Barcelona have enjoyed most of the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game now, goes on. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here's the replay. Just look at this pass from Lewandowski. And what a clinical finish this is. Hit with such power by Depay. Not much chance for the keeper there. Gonzalo Paciencia. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Can they take advantage? And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb! scoring for him well we can see it again now and it all starts with the pass over the top it takes out so many defenders and the finish is clinical he just makes it look so easy doesn't he well, we're underway again and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago Servi And he saw the situation developing. Well, someone has found the net in the Cadiz game, but who exactly? Alex Scott has the information for us. Yeah, it's another goal for Real Madrid. It's now level at 3-3 with 73 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. And a crucial intervention inside the box. A lot to look forward to on the Champions League group stage front here on EA TV Live. It's Barcelona facing Bayern. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly, the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. Dembele. And he read it well, intercepting it. Just ten minutes to go. Iago Aspas. Servi. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Pedri. Now with De Jong. Pedri. De Jong. On to Lewandowski. And I must say, that was a very promising attack. The alarm bells were sounding. De Jong. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. A oh, terrific pass. And he's in the clear. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, what an extraordinary score. He's in behind. Promising attack, but his timing was off. And that is that. Very satisfying from the Barca point of view. A victory here. What did you think of their overall display? And so the match is up.